What's up, guys? Just wanted to post a quick video. Maybe help some of you guys out that may be struggling. So we had a code on this 6.7 Cummins um, for the Delta P sensor. Um, and of course, ours ended up being stuck in range. Um, tested it out, part failed, no big deal. Um, we like to replace our EGR valve when ours fails, just because they kind of go hand in hand, sitting side by side. Um, to replace them, it's real easy. You got four 10 millimeter bolts sitting right on top. You got one here, one here, one here, one there. You have two more tens here and here, just underneath holding the EGR pipe on. Um, if you get the EGR kit, this is a ACTT um, auto car. This is a yard tractor. So the flat gasket that comes with this will not work on this. You have to actually get the donut gasket. Um, but one of the posts this video, because most people do not know that there is a <clears throat> four millimeter Allen that's actually located right here um, that goes straight through underneath the Delta P sensor that you can use to clean out the EGR passages to get good readings. So whenever you replace these components, you need to make sure you clean that out. Use carb cleaner, brake cleaner, a little piece of wire. Make sure you can go all the way through. Use compressed air, blow it out, and make sure everything's functioning like it's supposed to. To replace the uh, Delta P sensor, it's two 13s. Um, just take that bolt out. And there's one more underneath the connector. No big deal. You can take this 13 out just to give yourself some more access. Obviously there's the connector on your EGR and we had to take this 10 out just to get some access away from this pipe. Um, pretty straightforward deal. Obviously hook everything back up, clear your codes, run a region if you have to, and then uh, that's it. Have a good day.